Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Gemma Ziegler and Avery Roberts with your Bulldog Broadcast. Today is Feb Friday, March 10th. Today is day four of our special subject schedule. Happy birthday to... There are no birthdays today. But Ryder Kaiser, Kaiser is celebrating on Saturday, March 11th. And Kylie Gemmett is celebrating on Sunday, March 12th. We hope you have a great birthday weekend. Rudy Olympics practice will be every Wednesday at 8.20 in the library. The competition will be on Thursday, March 30th. We have such a great week with Read Around the World Week. Let's go to Mrs. Malloy and Mrs. Yanarella and see where they are for the last day. Hi, boys and girls. It's our last day. It's our final day of traveling. We had so much fun. And now we are down under in Australia. Take a look at the Australian outback. It looks like it goes on and on forever. I think it does. Uh, Mrs. Malloy, I think that our Jeep excursion is waiting for us, so we better get going. I'm so excited. But first, don't forget to watch the video and learn more about Australia, the land down under. under. Maybe you've heard of it? I sure hope so, because you live on one of its seven continents. This one's most known for its desert landscapes and unique animals, Australia. Australia is the smallest of the seven continents, and it's entirely surrounded by water. It's also the only country in the world that covers an entire continent. At almost three million square miles, Australia is located below Asia in the Southern Hemisphere. That's how it got its nickname, the Land Down Under. Life down under is very unusual. It can go from scorching dry temperatures to very subtropical. In the Southern Hemisphere, stars and constellations appear upside down and reversed compared to the Northern Hemisphere. This is because the Earth turns on its axis from the North to the South Pole. Even the seasons are in reverse. So get out your winter parkas in the summer and surfboards during the holidays. And you'll definitely need sunscreen if you visit one of Australia's many deserts. Like the Great Victoria Desert, the largest desert in the continent. Australia's warm, sunny climate and giant open spaces make for great outdoor adventures. Ready to camp out underneath the stars in the Australian outback? On clear nights, you can see almost 3,000 stars. Want to take a dip in the ocean? There are over 1,500 species of fish that live in the Great Barrier Reef, located in the Pacific Ocean, the largest coral reef in the world. Another natural wonder can be found in the heart of the continent, Uluru, a sacred rock formation that stands 1,100 feet tall. And of course, there are some incredible animals in Australia, like kangaroos and emus that live on the coast, and the cute marsupials like koalas and wombats, and unique animals like the platypus and camels. Australia has almost 1,000 different reptile species, including some of the most dangerous snakes. Even though many of the world's deadliest species live here, Australia is home to over 24 million people. The continent's first people arrived in Australia about 50,000 years ago. Australia is one of the most ethnically and geographically diverse nations in the world. What an incredible place. A beautiful island. I mean, country. Wait, continent? Well, you know what I mean. All of the above. Australia. My turn. Australia looks amazing. We had so much fun this week, and the fun continues today. This week is Celebrate National School Breakfast Week. Special tea breakfast will be served each day on fridays we give shout outs to students and teachers have that have gone above and beyond let's go to billy and annabelle with our weekly shout outs this is annabelle mancino and billy Vincent with your weekly shout outs shout out from jason wright to joseph ferrari for making me a cool creeper shout out to alex Muzelli in this 
John says, A and kindergarten class for helping the class win the Read Around the World trivia this week. Shout out to Miss Jardine from Millie Holst. Millie had so much fun cookie mining. Shout out to Alina Rosenberg in Miss Johnson's PM kindergarten class for being such a good friend to all her classmates. Way to go, Alina. Shout out to Anna Rickard in Miss Jardine's class for comforting an upset student on the playground. Shout out to Braxton Bennett for playing with a student on the playground who he didn't have anyone to play with. Shout out to Rowan Murray in Miss Jardine's class for always having a positive attitude no matter what the situation is. Shout out to Jonathan Fry in PM Kindergarten for helping wipe the tables and move our magnets at the end of the day. You helped our classroom look so neat. Shout out to Jaden Pauling in Miss Jardine's class for helping to pick up a chair that fell off the desk at the end of the day. Shout out to Danica Carzelli and Audrey Chalante in Miss Freed's class for helping a classmate get caught up on things he has missed. Shout out to Brody Frankenfield in Miss Freed's class for sh showing being on task during math workshop. Shout out to Max Kaufman for making a positive choice in the library. Shout out to Alex M. in Morning Kindergarten for being a great participant in the library. Great job, students. Remember, you can send a shout out to anyone who goes above and beyond. So, such your teachers now. Now, back to our main studio. Great job, students. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Bulldog Broadcast. We show our best kids' behavior in the classroom, in the beast show, on the playground, on the bus, and at home. Let us all do our part to make this a careless kind of day because a bulldog always cares. Have a great Care Day, Grass Elementary, because at JM Grass, we imagine, imagine greatness. greatness.